Essendon's slashing defeat of St Kilda had fueled belief that their revival under James Hurd was genuine, while Carlton had been Collingwood's latest victim. The Blues banner was also a casualty of the blustery conditions at the G, and perhaps it was a sign of things to come, because the Bombers went on to dominate a low-scoring opening quarter. There were just three majors in the term, and the first of them came from Michael Hurley, who did very well from a sharp angle. Drop punt is a goal, first on the board, the Bombers at the MCG. The calmness and vision of David Zaharakis was central to Essendon's second goal. Tom Bell changes, has a shot at goal and slots it home. The scoreboard attendant might not have been all that busy, but the Bombers' medical staff were. Stuart Cramery was the first to go down, and worse was to come with Jason Winderlich sustaining what may well be a season-ending knee injury, before Courtney Dempsey also damaged the same joint. Well, this is a disaster for the Bombers and a disaster for football. You hate to see this at any level, let alone the AFL. In spite of those significant disruptions, a brave Essendon held firm and kept Carlton goalless, taking an 18-point advantage to the first break. 50, and it's a mark. Taken by Cramery, and he plays on to Stanton. Oh, Stanton gives the handball off. Lonigan kicks the goal, three to the Bombers. If the Dons were seeking inspiration to overcome their injury woes, then the AFL's oldest player provided it with a truly memorable effort. Decides to kick from 60, driving it long. Oh, it's got the carry. What a beauty from Dustin Fletcher. It wasn't until midway through the second quarter that Carlton could muster a major. Carlos on the left, a laconic kick. He might have squeezed it home, he has! The energetic Zaharakis soon negated that one, though. Now the Blues have got the numbers, although Cramery finds the footy off to Zaharakis, who runs to 25 and kicks a goal for the Bombers. The Bombers' lead grew to 22 before the boys in blue started eating away at it. Drills at goal. That is magnificent stuff. A compelling half of football ended with Cade Simpson slotting back-to-back -back goals for an increasingly confident Carlton. Nonchalantly pops it through. The Blues are coming. The Blues were well and truly back in the contest by the midway mark, trailing by a single kick, and the equaliser didn't take long to arrive after the resumption. It looks pretty good. Will it make the distance? No, just off hands. No, did it bounce through? It's a goal! Essendon claimed the ball had been touched, and while the replay was inconclusive, there was no doubt about Carlton's next one. Shot by Kerno, quick snap out of the pack, is a goal! Just when it looked like the Blues were poised to overrun the depleted Dons, Hurd's heroes responded to snare a surprising one-point advantage at the last change. Goes into the pocket for Zaharakis, back of the pack, Monfries handles off to Lonigan. Patrick Ryder attempted one of the sneakiest goals of the season, but had to settle for a single point. His teammate Leroy Jetta enjoyed better luck though. Kicks it back towards Monfries. He was up, couldn't hold the mark. It's a handball to Zaraka. So it a Jetta. And the Bombers get the first of the final term. Then the pendulum swung once more. Back the Blues way. As they posted the next three goals to regain the edge. Murphy runs inside. Attacking 50. Set sail and kicks the Blues in front. Down by 10. Essendon surged again with back-to-back -back majors of their own. It could cost Russell. Kick towards full four. Milton can he get an accommodating bounce? He can. He'll put the Bombers in front. The tension was proving too much for the Bombers' rookie mentor. And it rose even more when Christopher Yaron burst through to put Carlton back in front. Here's an opportunity. He can keep going and kick a goal, Chris Yaron. He kicks from 50 and puts the Blues in front. The two teams were going goal for goal, so that made it Essendon's turn next. Leroy Jetta puts Essendon in front. Another piece of individual brilliance lifted Carlton back to the front. Handball wide to Simpson. Now the opportunity. The Blues, can they take a break? Two bounces and a third. Runs to 50. Drop punt on its way. Oh! Don't tell me, he's kicked it as well. But hanging on to their one-point lead proved challenging for them, with the pressure getting to Simpson. 
And that presented Essendon with one last shot at the sticks. Zaharakis kicks for goal. It's coming back, but not enough. Scores level at the G. The two great rivals ended even. 11 goals 13 to 11 goals 13. The third tie of season 2011, leaving over 78,000 fans at the MCG exasperated and drained, along with some very tired footballers. David Rowland's Big Pond Sport.